everyone, this is Pepper580. Welcome back for more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we cleared the Forest Temple, and in this episode, we're coming into Hyrule Field. Yeah, we're doing it. We're coming into Hyrule Field. For the first time ever. So, um. Here we got a little camera span just to show off uh, the graphics capabilities of the game, of the programmers, of Nintendo, so there's gonna be a lot of these in the, in the game, so maybe I can get a counter of them, but uh, maybe I missed some, so I won't be doing a counter, I'm just gonna be sarcastic when they show up. So, uh, first thing you wanna do here, uh, just come in, come in, come in, and as you start going through, there's gonna be this little bridge over there, one jump, and there's gonna be a glitter over there. What you wanna do is take your boomerang out, target it, and get it up to the view. Why? Because that is actually part of the side quest that we're gonna be doing. This is our first golden bug, this is a male beetle. So, uh, that's, that's the first part of our side quest. This is gonna be a male and a female of each kind of bug. There's gonna be. I'm gonna be explaining the bugs later on. But for now, they're useless. That's why we got them, because they're useless. That's right. Okay, just give them two steps. Step one and step two, they're dead. Afterwards, you want to come over here, get out your boomerang, and you see the glimmer in to on top of the tree branch. You want to target it, you want to get it. That is your piece of heart number four. That's right. You get it, you get it. And then, uh, we're going to be going through the bridge and we're gonna be heading left because we get the female bug, the female beetle up in this ledge over there it's gotta be, it's gotta be over here there it, there it is, there's a glimmer, I see it oh, it's, uh, there we go, there's a glimmer ow! stupid creature finish you thank you very much uh, I don't remember how they work. Dude, how many of you there are? I just won the freaking beetle. Okay, like that. And then there's our beetle. Get it. Get it. Thank you very much. There's a female beetle. Now we can keep on going. I don't want to get burned. Just ignore the enemies, because it's getting to be sunset. Oh, this place looks beautiful at sunset. I, I mean, at the hour of twilight, as it was described in the prologue, I'm going the wrong way. At the hour of twilight, it was described like so depressing, and the only time you could make contact with, the, with your loved ones, and I'm going the wrong way too now. But I want to fight you. Okay, huh. so I went the wrong way. I went out of my way just to get the beetles. And then I went out of my way again because I get confused. So, what you want to do is go over to this side. You don't really have to go out, out of your way, but I did. Uh, you're screwing my camera out! Okay, dude! That is not really necessary. You're screwing me off. So bad. So, we gotta go through this <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm confusing you, I'm just, uh, getting used to... Don't stab! I didn't swing my remote, dude. DUDE! Do 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 What? We already got you annoying ourselves? Oh. Okay, go no further, there is a black wall head that blocks the way. I thought I would deliver a few letters, but seems impossible. I am the honorable and dependable letter carrier known to some as a postman. Now that I have introduced myself, please take this letter and read it at your leisure. So we got a letter, blah blah blah, he explains how to read them, and the letter he got, uh, the letter we got is gonna be his. So uh, let's just read it, you got the letters right here. Uh, if I have a letter for you, I will approach you at high speed, please do not flee, <laughs> please do not flee! That's just what I'm going to do every time I see the... 
the mage where I'm just gonna run. I, I'm just gonna shout. Flee. Oh, but that's that's just so how little time we got being as a human because there's this big black wall of twilight over here. Let's approach it. Hello, Mitha. Hey, it was much closer than I thought. Yeah, it is. You remember, right? You know what this is. You set foot in here. You might be a wolf again for quite some time. For at least as long as it takes for you to save the light of Elding from the twilight anyway. So, shall we try to go see the light of spirit of Elding? Yeah, we shall. I enter. I enter. I accept. I accept. You just talk to me, another cutscene, you want me to let you- Yeah, I want you! I want you. Pfft, dude, I'm, I'm just... I don't know how to talk anymore. The hand, the blah blah... And now that we're inside the twilight... Hey, look! We have not transformed, probably we can stay as humans. <laughs> just as we stand up, dude, that's just useless. That's good boy, now you need to listen to what I say from now on. Oh look, how lovely, the black clouds of tar are so fetching today, I feel so much more at ease. Yeah, you, you're a witch. You know what, you're a witch, I don't care. Oh, this is just gonna be... This is gonna be weird. Oh, look at that. So, if we approach that... Sniff it. This is... The, the wooden sword that we lent to the kids. There's Molo, Talo, and Beth, and Colin. All four of them. You learned the youth scent. So, see, isn't being a wolf more convenient? Now, use blah blah to use your home senses. You're beyond to reawaken as a wolf, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna use my blah blah. <laughs> yeah, from now on, I'm gonna be calling them blah blah. Because I like that. I like that sound. Oh crap. No, you... You hear... Equals bad news. Get to the center. No, dude. Get to the center of the arena. Target them on all three. There we go. I'm a badass wolf. Okay, so... We've gotten that. But now the bridge is out. Oh, sorry, Minna. We're stuck in the game. We will never progress. I'm sorry, guys. That's all for this episode. I'll see you guys then. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, that's not true. What's this? That's strange. The bridge is gone. I wonder if this is the work of those shadow creatures. <sighs> what a pain. Oh, well. Let's go look for it. Yeah. Get our maps out. So, the yellow arrow marks where we are. Whenever we destroy the creatures, there's a warp. Yeah, a portal. Mm, but I don't need a gun for that. Yeah, it's good to be around here. So we gotta come over here to North Farron Woods. Teleport! And actually, well, we can act we can now go out of the twilight when we are wolves. Haha. -ha. See, I told you, we're here. You know, most people can't leave the twilight that easily. You better be grateful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look for the bridge. It's just entering. Oh, wait, is it here? Yeah, it was here. Creepy. Well, it's perfect, don't you think? Blah, blah, warp. Blah, blah. Go back. Good little beating wolf. Blah, blah. Elden problem. Blah, blah. Kakariko Gorge. I'm just saying blah, blah all the time, because I'm cool. That is just some weird posture, and I was thinking the worst things you could ever think of in a video game. Oh, it just crossed my mind. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. And now we're going back to. So, uh, now, we got the bridge. Oh, my commentary is just going off. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Hmm. It's been so much time since I last played another Zelda game, the Twilight Princess. The last, the last Zelda game I played was Ocarina of Time 3D, uh, but it's been like a month I have not played it. I completed Master Quest. 
but I'm just lazy to go to 100%, so I'm just keeping this text. And we can now progress through. Yeah, there's, going, there's not going to be anything of importance in the way, so we can just follow the dude's sense up to this door here. <laughs> That's great. Now they're here. Huh? What are they doing here? Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna go throughout that place, so just dig, dig up. And I just don't wanna waste my time trying to fight and just get them by surprise from the back and kill them both. Give me something? Give me a heart? Give me a heart. Okay, give me a heart. And enter this place, which is still still full of the dude's scent. So we're going in again, and we're going to get into a new place. This is Kakariko Village. There is more shadow beasts over there. So Kakariko Village, peaceful town, but bad things happen. So if we still follow the dude's scent, we're trapped now. Oh crap. Crap! You are not good. You are not good. Okay, there's one dead. And you over here, dude. Oh, again! Man! Okay. You die. You two die. No, you two doesn't. You two doesn't die. You two. And that's it. Oh my god. We got another portal, but we cannot go. We cannot quite go out yet. To the hero who was transformed into a blue-eyed beast in the realm of shadows in twilight. This way. Uh, anyways. What do you want to speak? I am a spirit of light, hero chosen by the gods, look for my light, gather the light stolen by the shadows into this. We get the bezel of light once again, and we get to look for the tears of light that are, have taken the form of evil insects. I think that's just what he's going to be explaining, yeah. So I'm just blah blah, and uh, let's get in here. Actually, let's go to the graveyard. Yeah, because this is another Kakariko village. You know, there's a... Um, there's a speculation about a split timeline, uh, which is the most viable thing. Even Nintendo has kind of confirmed it. But, um... This split timeline thing says that... <laughs> you could not even borrow yourself. Uh, it, it says that there's this um, there's this thing that war and there's there's a point in the in the game in Ocarina of Time where Zelda warps Link back in time, and so there's no Link in the future where, where Link just captured uh, would just still Ganon, but there's an, another part of the timeline where Link goes back to talk to Zelda about what happens later on, and that's that's the thing. There's a lot of controversy about that. So this Kakariko, this Kakariko village is not the same in Ocar as if as in Ocarina of Time. But getting in here, we if we use our senses, the kids, the grapes. I, I just don't see those blackbirds anywhere. They've got to be hiding somewhere, waiting for their helpless little prey to come out. Then they'll feast. We are safe as long as we remain in here, child. Be at ease. Oh yeah? I wonder if the monsters out there agree with you. They sure don't seem impressed by the Bahamas. How long do you think we can hold the sanctuary against beasts that strong, huh? Once they attack, it's over! Remember the lady from the general store? Just one of those things attacked her, and a whole gang from town went to save her. And what happened? She was already gone, and there were two monsters waiting. 
to connecting the dots, that means that if we get attacked by them, th then it will be... BORNS! <laughs> Aww, poor Beth. She's just scared. Aww, poor little girl. She will look, Renato. All I mean to say is that it's risky here, too. And you got some place we can hide. There he is. A cellar. <laughs> what? You've got a cellar? There, there, what's the entrance, man? <laughs> the entrance to the cellar is designed to open with all of the candles happen lit. I would not do that.